Hello, I'm Mark Blunden and this is the Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, single lung cancer surgery hope with robot doctors. But first, the sharpest images detailing one of our Milky Way galaxy's most stunning celestial entities, the Horsehead Nebula, have been captured by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. The most powerful telescope ever built, which is floating in space, snapped incredible high-definition close-ups of this molecular cloud inside the constellation of Orion, and it shows waves of gas rising up. Infrared imaging was used to snap images 1,300 million light years away from Earth, revealing detail in the edges of the nebula's mane. The Horsehead Nebula's unique shape, like a knight in a game of chess, will appear only like this for a mere 5 million years, as a cloud of collapsing dense cool gas is lit up by a hot young star. Next. Medics conducting a robotics-assisted trial at London's Royal Brompton Hospital so they hope lung cancer could be diagnosed and removed from patients in one sitting in the future using a novel microwave procedure. This method allows doctors to target and remove nodules on the lung with millimetre precision using a thin robot-guided catheter through the mouth and into the airway to then destroy cancer cells with heat. The team has treated seven patients using the new technique, which is said to reduce surgery time to about 45 minutes, which is around half the time of a traditional operation. Now, a fleet of up to 20 driverless freight trucks is being prepared to take to America's highways. Here's Chris Ermson, Chief Executive of Aurora Innovation, telling the Associated Press how the sensor-packed AI and machine learning trucking tech works without a human at the wheel. What we're building is a driver. The Aurora driver is this combination of the hardware, the stuff you can see hanging off the side of the truck here. So different sensors like a LiDAR and camera and radar that allow it to see the world. And then some really interesting software that allows it to take that data to figure out how to drive safely through the world. Aurora plans to be fully driverless on its Dallas to Houston freight run by the end of 2024. It has one job and it's single-minded about it. Uh, it also has some pretty incredible sensing that allows it not just to see down the road, but see beside it. We can see pedestrians on the side of the road in, at night beyond the distance of the headlights. But Carnegie Mellon University's Professor Phil Koopman has concerns. What we saw with robotaxis in San Francisco is some of the mistakes human drivers make uh, like driving drunk. Computers don't drive drunk. But they don't make human errors, they make robot errors. The company's going to decide when they think they're safe. And the only thing the regulators are going to do is judge them after the fact if something went wrong. That's where we are. Next, a report by the Policy Exchange Conservative Think Tank suggests head teachers should make sure pupils hand in or lock up their smartphones at the start of each school day. It comes after schools in England were given government guidance in February intended to stop the use of mobile phones during break and lunch periods in schools as well as in lessons. Now... You may have heard the phrase poison pen letters, but now University of Delaware researchers have found traces of arsenic in the covers of more than 200 Victorian era books. As part of the aptly named Poison Book Project, the teams discovered editions from the 19th century that feature green covers, which include evidence of arsenic used for colouring, and that's prompted some libraries to remove them from the shelves. Researchers also identified red and yellow covers containing levels of mercury and lead and found this by using x-rays to test the chemical compounds. Last week, France's National Library removed four books with emerald green covers believed to contain arsenic, although the library said handling the additions would cause only minor harm. Let's go to the ads. Stay there for more news from the world of tech and science, plus how to body hack your way to a longer life sort of. Why not hit follow? In the meantime, give us a rating. Welcome back. The US Air Force has announced a £13 billion contract by what's been dubbed a fleet of high-tech doomsday planes. They will be used to protect the president in the event of a nuclear attack and will replace the current Boeing stock. Sierra Nevada Corp. will design a successor to the quartet of E-4B Nightwatch aircraft, 
which at the moment include a mobile command post capable of withstanding nuclear blasts and electromagnetic pulses. The project called Survival Airborne Operation Centre is expected to be complete by 2036. Next, it could be the longest distance call of all as a laser-powered message pinged 140 million miles across the galaxy. The message was sent back to Mission Control by a deep space optical communications transceiver aboard NASA's Psyche spacecraft, which is currently about one and a half times the distance away that Earth is from the Sun. NASA says the technology could be used for communications on future Mars missions. So what was inside the message? Slightly dry tests and diagnostics data. And finally, a study by Zhejiang University School of Medicine in China and the University of Edinburgh suggests people genetically predisposed to a shorter life could live around five years longer if they followed a healthy lifestyle. Scientists examined how odds of survival can be improved through exercise, a healthy diet, getting enough sleep and not smoking, despite the huge influence of genetics. The study involved over 350,000 people's data sets from the UK Biobank and showed that those with a high genetic risk of a shorter life could prolong approximately 5.22 years of life expectancy at age 40 with a favourable lifestyle. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the latest news, interviews and analysis from the Standard Podcast here in London. And we'll be back on Wednesday at 1pm. See you then.